assuming Jamil's back, does that what does that change for you guys, or you know, how does that get you going going forward? I don't know. I mean, I don't know if there was a decision made. Oh, yes, so they'll let us know after practice, oh, but he's on yeah. track too. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Well, in that case, you know, let's get through this practice, and hopefully that's good. And, you know, what I mean, going forward, I mean, it, it's great. It'd be great to have him back. You know, he offers a presence that we don't have, and, and that's you know, shot blocking, run, run and rebound, and um, catching the run. Uh, Duncan balls in the room, uh, so it'd be great to have him back. When it comes to Texas, I know they've improved since you played a uh, tough game against them. What have you seen from them lately? Uh, they have a ton of grit. You know, they're playing really well as a team. Where they're getting a lot of production from a bunch of guys. You know, guys that are coming off the bench are coming to produce. And, and obviously, Isaiah Taylor is playing at a high level, and Prince e is playing extremely well also. So, you know, they got a lot of guys contributing. We're going to have to slow them down. What's eBay doing now that he wasn't doing? I, I think it's confidence with him. You know, he just looks more comfortable out there making plays, and I bet you he probably feels that, you know, Shaka Smart trusts him more than he ever has before. So, uh, you know, he doesn't have to worry about someone coming in and taking his minutes off the bench. I mean, they, they have a backup, but they don't have, like, two or three bigs behind him. So uh, he's playing with a ton of confidence, which is being more aggressive, and he's playing really well.